Welcome to Banjo Cat Between Two Ranges Season 2. This is Banjo Cat here for Episode 3, Season 2 of Between Two Ranges. My guest today is University of Montana Assistant Professor and Digital Initiatives Librarian Wendy Walker. Wendy, thank you for being here. I hear you're in charge of ScholarWorks at, at UM. I just finished a paper on the psychological effects of the Friskies Feed the Senses commercials on obese cats. Can my paper go in ScholarWorks? Also, do you have any Friskies on you? I do not have any Friskies on me, but uh, the question about ScholarWorks is right up my alley. It depends on a lot of things. So, have you published the paper? Are you going to publish the paper? Is the publisher going to permit you to upload your paper to ScholarWorks? There are some copyright issues that need to be answered. Is it scholarly in nature? Is it of enduring value? Is it something that you want to make openly accessible? Is it something that you would want to restrict to campus access? There are many, many questions, and we can discuss them at a later time. But these are some of the things that you need to think about and that I'm happy to help you think through when you decide whether or not you want to make your work available in ScholarWorks. Next question. I've asked you here today to tell the folks at home about digital projects at the Mansfield Library. So can you do that? Sure, I can do that. So I manage the digital production unit in the library and we digitize a variety of special collections materials, things like newspapers, letters, diaries, political papers, um, photographs, all kinds of primary resource material, and then we make it freely available online in either the Montana Memory Project or in ScholarWorks. So it's a really terrific resource for primary um, research material for students, staff, faculty, and people around the world. And in fact, if you like, we can walk down and I can show you the equipment and show you a little bit about how it works. Okay, Banjo Cat, so as promised, this is where the digital production uh, magic happens. This is the ATIS scanner, one of the primary pieces of equipment that we use to digitize all kinds of interesting special collections material. And today, in fact, we are digitizing the student newspaper, the Montana Kaiman. Wow, I sure learned a lot. Well, that's all the time we have today. Tune back in next week when Between Two Rages talks with Archives Specialist Kellen Youngren about Archives Month and Making Buttons.